there's some something uh, I saw that was that was called for called celebre, if you will. Perhaps you kids don't remember, but 50 years ago, the USS Liberty was attacked by Israel, of all people, and uh, and there, but the the American Legion and members of that of the survivors have been trying to get a full investigation but it has constantly been squashed it's been held back so finally uh, a couple of days ago an American Legion post actually called for a full investigation into the attack on the USS Liberty how they did it is beyond me but Let's review, shall we? The, the Liberty was a U.S. Navy electronic ship operating in international waters in the eastern Mediterranean, and it was attacked by Israeli forces, killing 34 people, injuring at least 174. The ship's commander received the Congressional Medal of Honor, and the crew is one of the most decorated for a single engagement in U.S. Navy history. They didn't fight with anybody. They were sitting there because it's an electronic ship, it was a spy ship, if you will, and all of a sudden, the Israelis started flying over, and there was they flew real close, they flew real close by, and they would wave down at the guys sunbathing on the deck down there, and that went on for hours, and then all of a sudden, the the uh, Israeli pilots the, in their little fighter jets they started getting the information, the order, if you will, to attack. That's what I'm saying. The claim's already incorrectly been made about the, at the... It's already been investigated, right? They did have a one-week-long naval inquiry, but it was only tasked with investigating the crew performance during the attack. And Congress has never investigated it. This went all the way to the top. Johnson was in. I mean, you remember Johnson, right? The guy, crazy guy, President Johnson. He was the guy who ordered uh, JFK killed so that he could become president. Let's just call it like it is. Let's see. This, the Israeli attack on the USS Liberty occurred on the fourth day of the Six-Day War, which was a war between Israel and its Arab neighbors, Egypt, Jordan, and Syria. Oh, yeah, they were attacking in all directions. They gained a lot of land through warfare, which, you know, it doesn't matter that's illegal under international law to obtain land through through warfare. I mean, this was what, 60-something, 63? 67. Well, back in 1948, for those of you who remember that far back, or are fans of history, after World War II, I think it was 40, it was someone back then, right after World War II, maybe it was earlier, a year or two before that, during the uh, Nuremberg Trials and the Hague, they declared it Ill illegal under international law to obtain territory through warfare. But this particular thing, where they attacked the USS Liberty, they fully intended to sink that thing because they wanted to blame it on, raise your hand if you know, on the, uh, on the uh, Egyptians. It was, who was it? it was a, anyway, it doesn't matter. <coughs> Basically, see, Israel succeeded in taking the Golan Heights from Syria, the West Bank from Jordan, and the Gaza Strip and the Sinai Peninsula from, from Egypt. And Johnson sent planes with nuclear payloads to bomb Cairo, and they were turned back around three minutes before dropping their bombs, which would have been a World War III would have started. Because I don't know that the uh, that the Russians would have just sat there and done nothing. I'm not sure what kind of status they had with the Russians, but I believe at the time the uh, the the Israel the sorry the Egyptians had gone a bit communistic. I think they were in a league. So that would have been something that could have started one hell of a, a kerfuffle if they, you know, if the Russians had gotten involved. People were kind of antsy back then. This was, you know, right around the time of the of the Bay of Pigs and that and that thing where the, the Russians had sent nuclear weapons to Cuba. All that was going on. Or had just gone on. Uh, JFK had taken care of that. But the but what they call DEFCON, whatever, was pretty high. And what's crazy is several of the pilots, I mean, the pilots of these planes were saying, these are the Americans. There are, there are uh, 
they're our allies, and several of the pilots actually refused orders, they refused to, to attack that American ship. They started off by uh, attacking the communications antenna and the flag. They had an oversized flag there, a big old giant flag. It was, and then so once they took, they shot down that flag, the crew came back out and put up a 7 by 13 foot parade flag. And that flew during the duration of the attack. The Israelis attacked with unmarked barrage fighter jets using cannon, rockets, and napalm. They actually had, part of the deck was on fire from the napalm. And all that the U.S. had Liberty had was a couple of deck-mounted machine guns, double-barreled, I think they had two of them, double-barreled 50 caliber machine guns to repel any borders. They suffered 70% casualties. The, the attack on the U.S.S. Liberty spanned two hours, which was basically as long as the attack on Pearl Harbor. They, it lasted about 25 minutes, the air attack, and then they had which, you know, that was like 30 sorties, approximately 12 separate planes, left 821 holes in the ship. Following the attack by the fighter jets, three unmarked boats torpedoed the hull, causing a 40 by 40 foot wide hole in her hull. Now I read another report by one of the survivors that said he did an investigation and there was a submarine that was part of their escort. The ship wasn't out there by itself. Oh, no, 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 no. They had a, a submarine that had followed them out there and was supposedly there in the water nearby. And he found out that they actually fired a, a torpedo into the hull of the Liberty. That's what this guy found out. He's one of the survivors, you know, decorated person, because everybody got decorated on that ship. I just work here. Anyway, after the attack was thought to have ended, they lowered three life rafts into the water, trying to get some of their, I don't know if they were trying to escape, thinking it was going to sink, or allegedly they had wounded that were in those, <coughs> in those uh, life rafts, because they were, they were hoping, I guess, that people would come to them. But the long story short, they, the Israelis were there with the, their own torpedo boats, allegedly, and they mach machine gunned the life rafts at close range. Then these two large Israeli assault helicopters filled with armed commandos carrying what appeared to be explosive satchels came over there and hovered for a little while but they didn't do anything. They didn't make any attempt to communicate. Uh, they probably argued inside the, the helicopter because you know not everybody is a cold-blooded murder. They know that those are Americans. They know that they have friends and family in America and vice versa. They probably they flew away. They probably said, no, we're not going to do this. The Israelis later admitted to the attack, claiming that they mistook the Liberty for an Egyptian vessel, the El Qusair. But that ship was an unarmed 1920s era, era horse carrier. It was out of service, and it was sitting in Alexandria. So they said, oh, it was that ship, that El Qusair horse carrier. And we, we thought we would sink it. For, for shits and giggles, right? This ship was four times smaller, bore virtually no resemblance to the Liberty. And uh, many attempts to have the truth entered into the public record of the events that day have been quashed. One after another, up and down, top-down cover-ups, whitewashing, denial of evidence, they've occurred, including ordering surviving crew members to stay silent about the, the incident. They told them for all these years that there was a gag order on them. So last Thursday, after 50 years, the American Legion, at its national convention in Reno, they adopted Resolution 40, calling for the first full U.S. government investigation of Israel's 1967 attack on the USS Liberty. And I say bravo. It's about time we stand up for justice in the American way. True justice in the American way! <laughs> so yes, ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of the show. And uh, please, down here on your screen, you'll see a little button. It's a share button and, uh, and a subscribe button and a like button. Push those buttons for me.